modern art, looking at a really famous collage. It's Jean Art, sometimes known as Hans Art. It's an untitled object, but it's always known as collage with squares arranged according to the laws of chance. And that's exactly what it is. It's a gray piece of paper, sort of construction paper, you know, sort of uh, almost children's construction paper. And it's got some cream colored and sort of almost denim blue colored squares that have been just ripped into these shapes and then scattered on the surface. What strikes me is what year we're at, which is 1916, 17. Sort of at the right end in the middle of the, of the, of the, first, the end, right. middle end of the First World War. But what strikes me is how far we've come from Les Demoiselles d'Avignon, which is 1907, and really how radical. Ten, ten years. Yeah, how radical Dada was for a time. We have a, a completely abstract work. We have it not arranged with any kind of artistic intention. It really begins to play fast and loose with the very definition of what a work of art is. Yes, absolutely. It, it sort of rips at the heart of what our definition is historically. It's, it's not self-expression, it's not skill, it's not an expression of the unconscious even, it's like surrealism would claim later. So, uh, it, it's actually, I mean, in some ways it's still really challenging in that, it is. Um, in that we look at painting for the decisions of the artist, and here that's been just given up. It is a kind of real anti-art. It's it a real a destruction real of the very foundation with which we sort of understand how to deal with it is. an object in and space. It still is. Right? And it, it, it's an extraordinary thing. So can, can, how can we understand this, though, in the context of the war? You mentioned that this was 1916, 1917. Yes. The war is raging. It's unprecedented. But this is being made in Zurich. Um, you know, Arp was one of the founders of the Zurich of the Zurich Dada movement, and Zurich, of course, is a neutral. Country. It, it, it's in, a, in Switzerland, yeah. a neutral country, right? And, um, and and so I guess I'm just wondering where, where is the relationship between this kind of sort of aggression against the traditions of art and um, and violence that's taking place across Europe? Well, I think the the answer that's usually given to that is that the sort of emphasis on the rational and on human reason was part of bourgeois culture that had created the violence, the violence and the irrationalness of World War I. But what strikes me also is just the irrationality people, I mean, because this is something you know created according to the laws of chance. And people are being called to the war, they're being drafted, they're sent to the front lines, they live, they die, they suffer, it they get legs all and yeah. limbs amputated, yeah. all based basically on a roll of the dice. Yeah. And, and Arp would have seen that, the number of, yes. of veterans that came Everyone back who, was, who were deformed, yes. who had, had limbs blasted, um, right. who had been exposed to gas and yeah. been disfigured, yeah. um, was extraordinary. And then those that came back unscathed. Right. What, what rules are there in life? Where is the rationality for what happens to who, you know, for what reason? It actually makes the absurdity of this object somehow much more profound. Yep.